Hello, I'm here with Michaela and Sean, two returning Complexity Weekend facilitators, and this will be their facilitator introduction videos. So let's just start with a hello and any personal introduction you'd like to provide. So hi, my name is Michaela Emsch. I'm a biomimicry practitioner, communication specialist, and a great uh, fan of complexity in all its forms. Nice. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm a, a serial organizer for, <laughs> for Complexity Weekend, a returning facilitator, just an all-around enthusiast of the Complexity Weekend and complexity communities. Um, I just love complexity in all of its forms and all the different fields. Um, by day, I work as a principal data scientist at Microsoft, and then I do a lot of kind of like investment, advisement, um, just other fun projects to, to learn as much as I can. Uh, in my short lifetime. <laughs> well, we hope it's a long one. In, <laughs> in a single word or sentence, what is exciting to you about Complexity and Complexity Weekend in 2022? Mm, my favorite is the community, the people, the way people come together, the different disciplines, time zones, um, relationships to complexity, applied and theoretical, and putting all this together and making a great stew out of it. Nice, excellent. Um, yeah, I think for me this cycle, it's um, it's just seeing the organization evolve and seeing a lot of uh, team work happen in internal kind of committees within the Complexity Weekend community and how those committees are starting to interface with the biannual weekend cohorts and just pulling people onto already functioning teams to kind of learn complexity by doing so like we've got a lot of really exciting stuff coming up for this cycle with like complexity weekend branding and like a you know a manifesto kind of mission statement that kind of keeps us aligned through deep time and even um, some stuff that goes into organizational structuring um, for the community. So I'm just excited to kind of have working teams to pull people onto for all of us to be learning by doing. Awesome. So what? is it to participate in Complexity Weekend? What is the cohort experience? What are people registering for? And we'll each share just one different facet on it. Yeah, I think the the most important is the discovery of different uh, takes on complexity uh, from different perspectives. Uh, it can be philosophical, it can be medicine, it can be biomimicry, if you are on my team and uh, all types of different uh, ways of interacting between the disciplines. And uh, it's going to be great this cycle because there's lots of different perspectives uh, showing up. Bring yours. <laughs> Definitely. We need yours at the table for sure because we're, we're ultimately talking about real problems that we want to you know, help resolve in the world. And so we need everyone from every walk of life, every perspective to show up. Um, yeah, I think for me, it's just the interactions are always front and center, you know, every conversation I join, every person I bump into, it surprises me and kind of gives me a new take or new way of seeing the world. Um, and ultimately, um, it's about, you know, trying to em embody complexity in a real system and tinker with it and kind of learn as much as I can in that weekend timeframe um, by actually trying to collaborate with others or potentially joining a team and, and, you know, committing to something a little deeper than a weekend in terms of a deep dive. I mean, there's teams that I'm still on <laughs> from past complexity weekends. So yeah, that for me is uh, part of the background is, is, is just the best part of the experience. And just to give a little organizers perspective there, what people are registering for is yes, joining for the weekend, which is September 23 to 25, 2022. There will be continuous activity in a gather video chat space, much like the one that we're in now. And don't worry about missing anything. You're going to be able to join and leave as works for you. So all time zones and availability are welcome there at the weekend itself. Also in the weeks leading up to the weekend, in the first weeks of September, there will be some sessions around people like meeting each other in one-on-one -on -one conversations, also sessions on the team formation process and talking through that, starting to seed some teams and some facilitation training to em embody uh, peer facilitation and the kind of community that we'd like to see. So what are people registering for? A few weeks of optional pre-weekend events, 
the weekend itself, as much or as little time as they'd like to participate, from few hours to many hours. And then where you go after the weekend is totally up to you. We hope people stay involved in the community, joining the monthly heartbeats or coming for another weekend cohort, or just participating with their team on their own time. Sean? I think the only thing I'd add to that is, you know, it's it's not a typical conference. Like you're not going to be passively consuming material about complexity. There will be facilitated live sessions where portions of that might be broadcasting information, but really it's all about the interaction. So you really should come prepared to engage and learn, you know, through interaction. That's a really important mindset. Awesome. And just a last question and area of discussion for us. You're both multi-returning facilitators. So what are you excited to do or bring or be in this cohort? Mm. My favorite is this time I'm uh, co-facilitating with a few people who, um, who are stepping up and uh, daring to come with their perspective. And I'm very happy to hold their hand and I'm sure they're going to be great, uh, great sessions. Uh, as well as having my own session on uh, branding for Complexity Weekend. Nice. Um, I, I've got a few different angles this time. I'm, I'm going to try out um, a couple different sessions, um, some that have a team attached. Um, one of them with Michaela, based on some work she's done, that's really amazing on potentially rebranding Complexity Weekend in a certain direction. So just including as many voices and perspectives as we can on this idea, this kind of you know, complex idea of like a, an emerging brand for this global community of practice. Um, that'll be really fun. Um, but also, um, like I was mentioning earlier, like a, a kind of a manifesto or like a guiding principles um, document uh, that we'll, we might even publish for Complexity Weekend that just makes sure through deep time, you know, even if there's conflict in different organizing perspectives or facilitation approaches or event plans that we have something guiding us um, That'll be really fun to work on together. And then I, I've got I just one other that I'm excited about, kind of a continuation of the, the session I did last time with evaluating a project's riskiest assumptions, um, but potentially co-facilitating with, with, with uh, Daniel and Jessica, Jessica and others in the teams committee um, who've come up with a fun way to kind of um, uh, predict uh, uh, back of the envelope uh, success rates for teams. And I think it'll be fun to combine with that. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? I think everybody should come. You love it and you're always welcome. I think a final thought for me would be, you know, the facilitators are there to really help mentor you as a, as an individual and as a team. Um, so really utilize them as a resource. You know, it's, it's not just uh, the videos that they're producing here, that content or the, live sessions or, you know, the office hours, it's not that structured. It's really a much more open-ended uh, relationship that you can form if you. I agree and would close that in a participatory community, the facilitators are there not just to broadcast information, though they may, as Sean has brought up, but to facilitate something. And that's your participation, your complexity journey. So if you feel like you're on a complexity journey, or you might want to be, or you're curious about what it entails, then the facilitators are those who, um, I guess, will be holding hands. And then I'm just thinking, well, who's dragging who? Or are we walking side by side? So it's a great space. And thank you, Michaela and Sean, for contributing so much and for this video. So see you all around. See you soon. See you soon.